Here we go. How many people here have graduated from the fourth grade? Raise your hand. I'm in the right spot. Well, we can continue. So this happened to me a couple weeks ago. I was biking up to Jamestown, very unique, I know, and I saw a bunch of people standing in the middle of the road, a bunch of bikers. And I thought, well, that's pretty stupid because bikers are small and cars are big. Why on earth would you do that? And then somebody turned me on to a Daily Camera article about this whole feud between bikers and people that drive their cars up in the mountains and to read the comments. And the comments were pretty spectacular. People like Johnny Balls 3 and Big Meat were talking about the 120 pound cyclist. You know, but really somebody down there said, this is all like a bunch of elementary school kids arguing with each other. Which, and then it hit me like a bolt of lightning. Yes, I'm a meteorologist, but that would be embarrassing if a bolt of lightning hit me. And I thought, we could solve this entire biker car problem just by the fourth grade. Don't play in the road. The golden rule, and last, don't be an asshole. So I thought, well, hey, we just solved this entire problem in like four seconds. What other life lessons could we learn from the fourth grade? So here's what we're going to get to. The first lesson is, OK, well, you don't know. Follow instructions. Patience is good. Follow instructions. When you get on the plane, find your seat, put your bag away, and sit the hell down. <laughs> Next, for breakfast, pizza and Dunkin' Donuts, even though you're at the airport at 6 a.m., are not good. And you're going to tell me, hey, we live in Boulder. We don't do that. That's bull. I know what you guys do. You got to eat well. We learned that in the fourth grade. The next thing, another Boulder truism. When you go shopping, if you're going to take the time to change your shoes, you might want to cover up the rest of you as well, OK? Just a thought. Next, when you're young, they say, dream big. So when you're young, you say Legos. Now I say 210 cup beer pong with the added bonus of when and how do we re-rack. I don't know. Still haven't figured that out. Don't lie. Seriously, how many politicians does it take to figure this one out? All Bill Clinton, all of that is true. Ending with, I'm uh, probably not ending with a guy from South Carolina. <laughs> and now it's up to you. You got to listen from fourth grade. How am I doing so far? Is this good? Good stuff. So that brings me to my next lesson from fourth grade. Man, you guys did it great. You got to show, show your emotion, right? If you love something, you got to tell the world. R.I.P. Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Hey, and, and, and just remember, if you like Elmo, that's cool. If you like VLOOKUP in Excel, that's OK, too. Whatever it is, you just tell the world what you love. Next. Always follow your passion. On the left is what I did when I was a kid. On the right is what I do now. I still take pictures of clouds, and I still ski every day I can. If you liked it then, you got to like it now. Was that applause for the pictures of clouds or skiing? No, I don't know. OK. Keep your friends. Keep your old friends. I ski with some of the same people I did before, but this also works in business, right? Maybe you should treat your existing customers well, because it's a lot cheaper than trying to find new ones. Comcast should learn that when they charge me for cable. Also, freaking, you don't need an iPhone app to calculate a tip. No math. No math. Self-explanatory. Silence is sometimes good. Also, as a presenter, because it focuses everybody back up here to the big finale, which is dating. You learned a lot about dating in fourth grade, because in fourth grade, you didn't break up with somebody then directly. It always went through somebody, right? <laughs> well, and you think, oh, but that was fourth grade. No, because the only difference between that and now is instead of the relay being the girl, it's now, no, it's now going to be an iPhone. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to say that this is a true story or not. All right, so not everything between the fourth grade and now is identical, right? Some things are a little bit different. One, I had a lot more hair back then than I do now on the top of my head. Hey, that's not my back. That is not my back. That's not my back. Some things change. So, so that, that is my... 
if I can leave you with three things, it is common sense, gets you a long way, know how to move the decimal point, that's pretty awesome, right? And three, just save at least one text message for the breakup. Thank you very much. Also be sure to thank Andrew and the entire volunteer staff, they did an amazing job guys, thank you.